Alright All right, guys, welcome back. This is Shadow Drake, and yes, you'll notice time has passed. I've been busy, and so... The easiest way to explain that would be to go around and show off my work, and I will need my suit. Okay, so... Because it'll be a very boring, I just basically hollowed out the inside, and I got everything routed for what my harvest is going to go. And so one of the major things is, we'll start with the outside. This whole, everything is set up. The shooting system under there is set up, and I'll go over it briefly. But at the very end, we have this sorter here, where I have three memory chips and my IC housing that watches this, and three levers down there, which I'll go over briefly. And that just determines whether corn, wheat, or soybeans will be routed here to potentially go feed the chickens or to go to the fridge. So pretty much every single bit of produce created will go to the fridge, except for those three, and levers down there determine whether I want them in here or not. So with that, let's go back inside. I won't need my suit. I shouldn't need my suit. I realize I'm probably very slowly losing nitrogen and oxygen when I do that. Alright, so I've let my fertilizer composter thing create some stuff. And so here's the chicken feeding stuff. So whatever I flip up will affect what is going to be fed to the chickens. And as you see, there is a wheat there because I did a test run. So wheat and soy will be pushed in there. So I need to completely redo my planting. We'll go back in here. I finally rerouted the, the Harveys and I got both of them. So I got my left and my right, and then I was going to try to do a, a single chip solution where I do some kind of funky indexing and stuff to grab what I need. But that's going to be kind of problematic. Because if I try to do that, then I'll have, you know, stay here, stay here, nothing, stay here. But then when it comes to the fertilization step, which I want them to come here, grab it, and then go fertilize. You know, go down the list to fertilize. There's going to be an issue where they might have to come here t at the same time, and as we saw, they tend to error out. Joy. I also decided that this top floor will be something to grow completely, something I want to mass produce. I don't want the 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 hilarious the hilarious. The Larhees? I don't know. What's a good way? That they're not Harveys. Are Harveys deprecated? I don't think they are. Nope, they're not deprecated yet, so yeah. Anyways, I don't want them to plant plants. I want me to be I want me to be able to deal with the plants. Alright. Like I said, I have the solution. This is a fertilizer extra, so if I got too much fertilizer in here, then this is where it's going to come out. That's why I stopped that, because I saw that. So, this is the access button. It's already programmed. Automatically closes. Yep. That's not a death trap. I got lights down here. So this is a shooting system. I got shrooms growing here. Because they're going to be useful for helping to offset the CO2. I don't know. I need to put more of them, to be honest. I don't think 20 shrooms can offset a ridiculous number of plants upstairs. <sighs> but yeah, I have a way for putting fruits in here. Uh, the way I have it here is any seeds. Okay, we have the first order. The first order grabs fertilizers and immediately shunts them in here. So yeah, they're gonna go in here. Well, they're gonna go first in here for the Harveys to use. And they're full, they'll go in here for the other plants. So theoretically, I should have plenty. And yeah, that's... Ooh, Storm, there it is. Then this fertilizer maker sorter what that does 
is all seeds will go through here to be decomposed because th those will be seeds that I intend to throw away for reasons. Now, I also have a thing where fruits are going to get stacked in here. I don't know that it works, to be honest. They're going to get stacked in here before they go through to the sorter stuff up there. I have a, something in the logic where after... One sec. Okay. Like so. So I have a thing where after a plant comes out, you know, harvest comes out five times through here, I send two harvests up there to go get fertilized. And the reason for that is to have a constant supply of fertilizing materials, because I really don't want biomass. And these two chips control that. And I haven't taken down the frames because I figured... I don't know. So now, I need to do the programming for the Larrys. And that's, I'm going to do that downstairs. And so, I need some information that I need to jot down. Ow. Ow. Come on. So, for the right Larry. For the right Clary. Station 43 is home. Station 42 is fertilizer. Station 68 equals drop off. And so that means station 84, final station 44 first. And because of the way that I got this completely symmetrical, this is going to be the same thing over here. Uh, 41 is home, 40 is final stuff, but I'll, I'll figure out how to do that. But then I need to make a check for the perennials. So cocoa seeds, switchgrass seeds, tomatoes, and pumpkins are perennials. So I'll need to grab those seeds so that when it goes to drop off, I'll check to see if that's in the in the arm slot. If it is, then I'll just drop them off. Or do something on the on the check. Okay, so I plan on having the the switches down here if I actually remember to bring the housings chips. <sighs> okay, let's go get them. I do have a general idea for how to make this work. I'm going to basically do the same step logic thing. And I think I'll end up just using... You know what's creepy is that sometimes the the states of some of these things just seem to randomly change. Okay, I need a housing. I need some chips. Let's grab two of them. I kind of debated of maybe only having two fertilizer drop-offs. That way they they could be separate, you know, have them kind of technically be side by side, start from zero, go up to some number, drop off at, at a spot. And then basically see how that goes, but, uh, let's... Too complicated. Uh, originally what I was gonna do with the Larrys was that, uh, I was going to... Where's my housing? I was just going to have a... Oh, that's the wrong tool bag. Alright, 
Alright, so this is gonna be the right Larry. Oh, I forgot to rename them. Right Larry and the left Larry. Wait, can I rename that? Oh, I can insert. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, so. Really, all I need is the right Larry. Perfect. Okay. So this is going to be uh, Harvesting Larry script. I believe I had a test run, but I... Nope. Never did. Alright, so H Lair. That's D0. Main. And J Main. So here's the thing. I need to grab... Wrong thing. So I need cocoa seeds. Define cocoa. Define pumpkin. Define tomato. Define switch grass. So the only reason I need those is because those are the perennial plants. The perennial plants are going to be the ones that need to be dropped off. And I need to I need to check for them when they're going to be dropped off. Okay, so with that, we are going to make alias step that's R15, alias index R14. And this is basically the station index. This is going to be the uh, step number. So we're going to have to define ohm, and that is 43. Define for imp, that is 42. Define drop that's 68 cycle from 44 to 84 so let's initialize that move index 44 so I had a thought of having this be a mirror setup again. But then and then I had thought of using the stack to keep an eye on what the the step and the index was for you know a harvest larry. But then a thought occurred to me that this would be slightly problematic because I do want to have like a very broad fertilization and that could that unfortunately would be an issue. So zero is so zero equals move. One equals check for harvesting. Two equals harvest. Three equals drop off. Four equals replant. And then five equals fertilize. And so but that's kind of the problem that I'm going to have. I don't know that I'll be able to fit all of that logic within one script while keeping this step register going. Not in the way that I usually do this. I know I know people will very easily figure out how to do all this without the way that I do, but just, you know. Part of the thing is I always like to split it up so I kind of should know where the machine state should be at. Actually, I need to move 
this to 43. And I also need to do a motion where I need to load R0 from HLAR idle. Yield. And repeat this loop. Uh, EQC. Okay, but I need to go and check that. See, I had a lot of, I had a lot of this data kind of already done, but because I didn't save that script on my test run and I deleted it because I tend to do stuff like that. So idle equals one. So when idle equals one, that's when idle equals zero. Okay. That helps. So when idle equals one, it's basically moving. So. So when idle equals zero. equals one it'll go up there but otherwise basically just keep yielding over here okay that should be my step so we're just gonna have to do my steps uh move beq step one check beq step two harvest q step three drop off beq step four Replant BEQ step five fertilize J end. So that's all of them. So let's move, check. Oh, uh, I can't use move. Uh, da, 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 da. what's it, another one? I used motion for idle check. Great, now I need a synonym for move, and I synonym for move, and I can't come up with one. Uh, just go. Ah, I don't know. Go. There we go. Harvest. Drop off, replant, fertilize. These all go J end, J end, J end, J end, J end. There you go. So for go. This is going to be fairly simple. We need to add to index one and set the H layer uh, setting based on index. However, I need to do a check here. If BREQ index is equal to drop we do negative one because i need to add another one because i need to skip that setting and that's what i need to check now b r e q index the final one is 84, so that means uh, 
Uh, let's do three. One, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three. Yeah, right there. Actually, I need to do four. Move step five. And for fertilize, I'm just going to do J and move step zero and move index to uh, 43 home. This will get it back right there. So it's going to increment my index. Start for 43, go to the first station, 44. If that equals drop, it's going to come back and should add another one. If this equals to 85, that's the end. B-R-N-E. We skip three. One, two, three. And then just do jaw motion. Now this is where this whole motion thing is going to be. And let's just do move step one. Well first, yeah, we're gonna need move step one, but we're gonna comment that out because I want I want to see this go all the way through to the end. So this is the first part. I got my idle check, I got my incrementing the index, and I got at the very end to go right back to the beginning, go back to step zero. So that should theoretically work. Okay. okay. So now let's watch it. Okay. You should land at 44. 41. 42. About 47. That's perfect. That's what I wanted to be doing. The question is, when it goes to the fertilized step, will it actually get to the end? check step is going to be different because I need to check to see what the plant slot is giving me right there to determine if it's harvestable. So seeds are harvestable. Which is fine. You know, so once I get that working, it should harvest these seeds and dump them all off right there. Perfect, let's skip that. Oh, great. I know this is very engaging gameplay, but I, I have to see this through to the end. Anything with complicated logic, you just have to really see the entire process so that you know if something's wrong. I'd be de debugging a heck of a lot more problems if I never checked things step by step like this. This is kind of why I like to do this in a step by step sequence, because I know I should know where something went wrong. So it should be coming all the way back here and it should be repeating that entire stage. Alright, good. I'm satisfied with that. Okay. Now let's do the check step. Now the check step is going to be kind of like a little quirky one that I'm not entirely sure. Because, uh... 
you know, plant slots that have growth, mature, seeding, occupied, and health. And so the thing is, I feel like for sure I need to check seeding to make sure I need to go to the harvest step. I probably also need to check health to also technically do the harvest step because tech that should clear out the dead plant. At the same point, I think I need to see if it's occupied. No. So the thing is, I don't have a dead plant. I'm not entirely sure how I can make a dead plant. I need to do something to kill a plant so that I can verify the whole health. And that's kind of the problem where I have. I should have... I should have left one of these ferns dead so I could have figured out what happened to them. Ah, <sighs> Unfortunately, I did not. And so now I don't exactly know what state I am going to be getting. All of these plants, unfortunately, can survive. Their spawn. You... You inhale oxygen and volatiles, and you inhale nitrogen. Unfortunately, that means that I have the stuff you need to survive. Where, where's my alien shroom? You inhale nitrous oxide and you exhale oxygen and nitrogen. You will starve. Do I, do I want to kill an alien shroom somewhere so that I can see this test? The answer is yes. Yes, I do. The question is... Do I have an alien shroom available to me for this? I do need to check for dead plants because I need to clear it out. But I guess I could just as easily leave them alone. Uh, the cosmic tools, build ink. Oh wow, I could have brought Karen over. Hey. Hey, actually, I will bring Karen, Trader Karen, over. And land her. So that I can use her for the oxygen test. For that trading pad. Do I have an extra alien shroom? I don't think I do. I do. I have one shroom. You're a seed. Wait, I saw something about Hades flower. You inhale volatiles and oxygen. You exhale pollutants. I don't think you'll be a good one. Tropical lily? You technically do the stuff. Yeah, you'll still grow. All right. I am under the understanding that if you can't inhale, if you cannot inhale the gases, you will not exhale stuff. Even though it's technically nitrous oxide. Whatever, we'll kill one. We'll kill one of these. Shouldn't take long. I need to, I need to check the data for a dead plant. Alright, Trader Karen, you're gonna be left in there for quite some time. <laughs> I 
Okay. So to help me with this, I am going to have another IC specifically for the purpose of seeing slot data for the plants. Alright, so... Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay. So... Alias... Larry, that's D0. Okay, so load slot to R0 layer. 255 is the slot index, so let's do health. R1 layer, 255, and we'll do... Load slot R2. I probably should just have console so I know what this is. 255. Growth. Let's see, I see the health. Seeding. You know what? Let's get some consoles. It'll be easier to see the data if I have consoles. So give me time for me to actually see how long it'll take for that to die. You know, a very as a question just occurred to me. Can I spray paint the traitor's stuff? I need another. Uh, console, console, console. No consoles. Great. More consoles. So I want to know, where's my pencil? I need occupied. So I need to know, occupied, mature. No, I don't think I need mature, I need seating. So one of the things I don't like, for stationers is that the slot data is not readily visible. So this plant should be dying soon. It's not growing and will never fruit. It's going to eventually die, I hope. So It's weird how the snapping is. Okay. There's gotta be an easier way for me to do this. I know. So we're going to call you Occupied Growth Seeding Health. There's another parameter. Uh, hydroponic. Honic. Tray. Hydroponics device. So. Damn 
damage then? Okay. So I don't really want to deal with that. Let's do occupied one. Occupied. Next will be growth. I don't think I need growth to be honest, but let's just get it. Oh lord, I have a lot of grow lights. Growth. Seeding. Okay. Health. Health. And damage. I don't know that damage is a thing that will show. Okay. So. Occupied. Health. So let's see. Occupied. Growth. Alright, come on. To alias con, alias con, alias con. Okay. Seeding health damage. Come on now. Seeding health damage. D3, D4, D5. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. So I got health, occupied, growth, seeding. Damage. Set. Occupied. Setting. R1. Set. Growth. Setting. R2. Set con seeding setting. Seeding is R3. Set con health setting. Health is R0. Set con damage setting. Uh, R4. Yield Jamie. Okay. Line 9. Hydroponics. Larry Dog Hydroponics. 255, yep. Load slot 255. I didn't I didn't do that right. Okay, what did I do wrong? Did I not put the Larry? <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Guys, set your devices. Setting your devices is crucial to making sure things work correctly. Alright. Come on, turn on. It's occupied. No growth, no seeding, health is one, damage is zero. So now the problem is I have to wait for the plant to start dying before I can get better data on it. Are you dying yet? Alien mushroom. Let's see, suffocation damage. Time until su one hour? Oh. It's gonna take forever.
Okay, okay. I guess we'll just keep going. The good news is... So it's straight zeros when it's empty, so that's good. So that means that when I do the logic, I can just... A shroom. What did it fault? Where are you at? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, mine. Growth is at five. It's occupied, it's seeding, it's health. It's damage. Okay. So I need to see occupied and seating. What do I do with my laptop? Alright, so now that I'm at that point. So we'll do the step check. So here's where things get a little bit interesting. So I need to load slots from the H layer, R0, H layer, 255. We need to see for occupied. We need to also need to see for seeding, because that's what I'm going to need. And then I don't know if health would be the one that I need. So I'll keep that on the back burner. So here's the thing. If if occupied is zero B E Q Z B R E Q Z B R N E Z Ah this is not going to be an easy one because I need to check for seating and I need to check for occupied. Wait. If occupied is zero, we'll branch out. If also seating is like that, we'll branch out. So what this will move step back to zero. J end, otherwise we'll move to step two for harvesting. So we're gonna load these three slots. If it is not occupied, one, two, three. Okay, so I actually need a four here. Otherwise do it th otherwise do it three. So not occupied. BR, no, EQZ. If that is a zero, we'll go to four. No, no, I'm confusing myself again. This is, this is, this is my problem with the comparison statements. So the thing is, if it is zero, I want to keep going. Actually, no. B R E Z. B R E Q Z. If it is a zero, just go to this. Just skip this check. Just go here. 
step back to zero, continue on. If it is actually occupied, it's going to skip that. And so now we're going to go up to here. If this is... If seeding is a 1, we'll go here. Otherwise, go back to step 2. So let's do that. Now, let's go check on this. You're here for a reason. You're stuck. Ah. Okay. Logically, I got something wrong because you are in step two. You want to harvest dead plants. Okay. That's because seeding is negative one. Okay. That's why. So it's not BR and easy. It's BR EQ one. Waiting for the stupid alien plant to die. Oh. Still there. Oh. You're still at two. Let's see. Loading occupied. And I'm loading seeding. So you're occupied. And seeding is negative one. Where am I going wrong here? Hunger, caution. You should have gone all the way back. I never reset your step. Ugh. Move step zero. I forgot to put a reinitialization thing. It's not going to do anything different if you don't tell it to do something different. Okay, I heard it clicking. So that means it's step through. Okay, so that's I did that correctly that time. So that means it should come here and stop, because that's the first one where seeding is a one. Are you dying yet? Nope. Let's make me a muffin. Actually, let's just make me another cake. No, french fries. Good. You stopped here. You're ready to harvest. That's what I want. Alright. Alright, so we got to the harvest step. Now I'm confident about that. That this should be better. So it's skipping because it's not occupied. It's skipping for not seeding. The question is, I don't know about the health. I need to see how the, the, the little shroom does before that so let's let's do the harvest so the harvest is going to be fairly simple it needs to load slot r0 h layer 255 occupied because all I care about is that there's something in that slot. Set H lar activate one J motion. Nope. Jaw motion.
No, this check needs to be right here. So, we need to tell Harvey to grab motion for idle. And it'll come back up here. Check for occupied. B R E Q B R N E Z R zero. Go back to harvest. S move step uh, three. Three is drop off. J end. So it's going to basically be stuck in step two for quite a while. I could do that better, because right now I'm basically making one, one sequence over here. I could do a slot. Well, that should work. To be honest, that should work. It's going to go back to home. Are you dying yet? Nope. <laughs> it's a sad face. <laughs> Waiting is intense. It should fully harvest this, is what it should do. Got the seed. <laughs> Something went wrong. You're still in two. So, what did you do here? Gah, this is what I did wrong. B N E Z harvest. Okay. I need to clear this. Okay, harvest it. So now I need to go tell you to go to drop off. So you're in step three. So in step three, you need to set HLAR setting to drop. Jaw motion. Then what you need to do is activate the fate one. Jaw motion. And then actually what I need to do is do a check. Where I need to load slot. R0. HLAR. 
uh, Larry. Arm slot, so zero. Zero. Occupant. Hash. Because I need to see... I need to see what the occupant hash of that is. And... This is where I need to do the check. So BREQ R0. And now I need to do the each of them. Cocoa, pumpkin, cocoa. This is not gonna be correct. Pumpkin, the there's four of them. Cocoa, pumpkin. Tomato and switch grass. Actually, to make this a little simpler for me, let's just call parent meal. One, jaw motion, move, step, zero. So it'll be drop off, we'll skip the replant, and it will go straight to zero. J-end. Ah, oh my. Line space getting close. So now... This is where I'm, I don't know. I might have to do a yield right here. Well, I have to. I'll need to plant a tomato to see what it does. Uh, that's what I'll do. I'll plant. A, I'll grab a tomato, plant it upstairs, so that I can kind of see. I, I really I forgot about the perennial check because I'm hoping that by the time this yield happens to get out of my drop off I'll come back over here I'll be able to load the correct occupant hash or I could just put this up here before it drops off the seat okay so you know I'll try it two ways I'll try it here and then I'll try it up here Actually, what I could do is, when it harvests something, I could just grab a tomato seed and put it in there. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I have tomato seeds. I can do that. Move. Step. Four. We're replanting. So, if it's not a perennial seed, it'll just go to move step four, and it'll replant. So, let me put some spaces here so I can actually see where my different logics are okay all right See that's timing up. So it's in step four. All right. So now that it's in step four, we'll set hlar setting to index because that's where it was supposed to go. Agile motion. Set hlar activate one 
Jowl motion. Move step zero. So what that does is it'll tell it to move back to where the index was, because that's literally the last place it grabbed it. Then it'll replant, and then it is going to go back to step zero to check the others. And so what I'm going to do to see if the tomato thing works is I will, I will swap the wheat seeds for tomato seeds at one point. First, uh oh, where are you going? <gasps> okay, I was reinitializing the index. You know what? Whatever, plan's right. Yeah, okay. Well, so the good thing is. It went back home. <laughs> yeah, of course you're faulted. Because... I forgot about this, too. Alright. Let's go ahead and replant you. All of this, these little checks and stuff to do. Okay, I got nine tomato seeds, so. Are you dying yet? Still no. It should skip you. I want to make sure that whole planting cycle goes correctly. And if not, I'll just turn you off. Are you dying yet? Still no. Okay. You should harvest. Get the seeds. Okay. This is kind of satisfying to watch, I am not going to lie. You're going to go drop it off. Okay. You're going to come back and replant. Perfect. tomato seed in there if it'll work if I got that in the right place what it'll do is it'll drop off the wheat and the tomato seed that's if it works correctly the answer is it did not All right. Clearly, this is not in the right place. The 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 load. So this probably needs to be up here, and we want to check the hopper slots for the occupant hash. So 
so let's go on ahead, reinitialize this to go all the way back. That'll give me some time to debug it. All right. I know, it's going to start all over again. Oh, it actually got that far. Now, I'm, I'm going to purposely leave that unfertilized because I wanted to basically do kind of like a reverse check where I need to refertilize spots. Okay, it's got that. Alright, drop it off. No, you didn't drop it off. Alright, I gotta check the perennial logic, because that's clearly screwed up. Okay. The occupant hash... Well, hold on. I can always just do... So... Load slot R5, LAR, 1, Occupant, Ash. SDB, setting... R5. You know what's strange is something got really loud and that's kind of concerning me. And so now the weird thing is I don't know if I got the right hash ID. Is that lower than normal? I just had a storm. I should have plenty of power. Oh my gosh, come on. So I got tomato seeds in the hopper spot. Negative one nine two two oh six. Yeah, I got the right thing. That's why I'm an idiot. It's because I overrode it. R3. That's why I overwrote the thing. That's why it's not working. Because I'm overriding it for my motion. Alright. Let's try this again. Uh, I gotta get that. I think I broke my Larry. I also didn't have it on. That'll do it.
Are you dying yet? Still no. What are you doing? <laughs> then I confuse you. Where are you going? Where did you think you were? This is kind of where your troubleshooting stuff kind of gets wrong. And you just have to be very careful what you're doing. Are you dying yet? Still no. Oh, you thought you were still supposed to be planting. You just literally destroyed a fertilizer slot, you jerk! <laughs> Okay, whatever. You seem to do the right thing. This is gonna look so stupid to have that random tomato right there. Please don't kill my good plants. Are you dying yet? Okay, you're harvesting the wheat. Come on, go drop it off. Drop it off too. Ah! All right. Okay. Shoot, I thought I had at that time. Why didn't you... Did I do something wrong with the perennial? Because you went to go try to replant it. It's like you skipped that logic. Okay. Let's get you back. station is this? 48? Are you dying yet? Nope. It feels like I didn't tell it to activate one more time to export. How's the plant looking like? Sad face. Ugh. Still okay health. Still occupied. Growth is a zero. Seeding is a negative one. Alright, so let's go back to you. So, perennial. It's not acting like it did the perennial. It went to the next step.
So loaded the occupant hash in one. Let's instead put you in step 10. So what that will allow me to do is let me know that you did go through this, but didn't drop off the plants. Got to get it perfect. Still not dying. Does not help that this has to travel a long way. And one second. Still set. I should have really considered the suffocation time to be a lot longer than it was. Alright, one second. <laughs> 